Conor McGregor mm. is is on a uh, uh, a uh, a SA. I'm gonna just say SA because you know YouTube kind of mm-hmm. sensitive. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Is on that is on the SA charge right now. Yeah. Uh, after a, fo- following following charge, the. Uh, right? Well, it's it's allegations as of right now, but the young lady has already filed and went. To, she's gone to the police and she's given her story. She has a lawyer behind everything now too. So, following the my following the finals game, uh, game four, he's yeah, got this. Four. He got this charge going on, and um, it's this looking like it's getting kind of deep. What you think about Conor McGregor, bro? I'm not surprised by this. You know, honestly, I'm not surprised by these allegations at all against Conor McGregor. He's had multiple allegations of similar types in the past. Somehow they've gotten, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but, um, you know, they have those allegations were dropped in the past. But <clears throat> if this is to go to court, they're going the. I'm 100 percent sure that the lawyer is going to plead a case of, um, you know, a pattern. This is a pattern of his character and being the fact that he's had allegations come up against him in the past. And now this type of allegation is coming up, you know, are we just going to sweep this under the rug like we did last time? No. So I, I'm really not surprised um, that this is the case. Um, He's, he comes off as, no, I'm just not surprised by this at all. I'll just say that. He does, he does come off as a very brash individual, very cocky, very, you know, one of those kind of guys. And, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me either, uh, given his given his past and given the, the things that he has been alleged to have done back in the back in the day. But I mean, I've been trying to be sensitive in this topic because, you know, okay. I mean, I know I, I know our topic is 99 percent men and we love y'all. But the yep. the. 0.000001 on women that watch this show. Yeah, watch our stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna to be, it. Right, exactly. I'm going to be try, try to be sensitive to this topic because, I mean, from, from, what, from what they say happened with the situation is that she was hanging around him in VIP in a, in a, in a club after the game. Mm-hmm. Okay. And apparently she was called to the bathroom and he forced her to, to do some things in the restroom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My thing is, why did it take so long to 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 report these things? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because well, apparently, apparently, she she went to the police station at like four or five in the morning after all this happened. She went, she all this happened. She went home, thought about it, then went to the police. Instead of like saying something at the moment, I mean, I figure, I feel like I would have, if if I was, if I was in that situation, me personally, and if yeah. something was happening like that, I would have said something in the moment. Like I would have went to the police on even on site. Like, hey, this is what happened to me. Like, can we get, you know, what I'm saying, in opposed well, to waiting hours after the fact, going home, and you know. But I understand, like, if it's tr- if it's traumatizing and you really don't understand what's going on, that you have to have some time to kind of like put two and two together. Um, and I'm not I'm not saying that this didn't happen to her. All I'm saying is it should have been reported a little bit sooner. Yeah, but I mean, so you said it happened after the game, right? So the game, yeah. uh, the fourth game started at 830, right? Eastern time. Mm-hmm. Eastern time. And so the game went for at least two and a half hours. That's 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Then mm-hmm. they're in the club. 11 30, 12 30, maybe 12 to 2 or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so in that time from 12 to 2 in the morning is when allegedly everything okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, transpired, yeah, yeah. right? So I got you. Of course, she's not going to go right away because she's still trying to gather herself with whatever happened, if it did happen, right? right? And then right, from right, there, right. she goes and says, okay, no, I'm going to report this. Even if she, even if it took her a couple of days to mm-hmm. go to the, the, the police about this, I don't think it was too long of a time for me the fact that she went that quick is even ah, it could be even more telling of the situation if we being Very honest I, I agree I, I, I can agree with that just I, I, that's so I'm glad we had these conversations because prior to this I was like oh like, why she take so long but sometimes I don't take time to break things down as much as I possibly should sometimes so that's why I'm glad yeah. I got you on you to my side you know to make to make yeah. sure that I'm looking at things the right way but like you said but 
when she went to the precinct, they sent her home. Then she went back mm-hmm. again, and they was trying. It was a whole bunch of back and forth with the police departments, telling her, "Hey, if you do this, it's gonna go viral. I don't think you want this to go viral." And blah blah blah. You might want to come back with yeah. a lawyer. This at the third, and apparently the NBA or and it's alleged. Apparently, allegedly, the NBA and the Miami Heat offer her a hundred thousand in hush money to not say nothing. Like, yeah, like, that, that's the part that's kind of weird to me. Is it, it's either gamesmanship by her lawyer mm-hmm. or somebody on McGregor's team is trying to play her, so to speak, um, and try to make it seem like it's not them that's trying to quiet her. Because to me, I, to me, maybe the heat makes sense, but the NBA doesn't make sense. Because right, it doesn't the make NBA, sense at all. Yeah, the NBA does – has nothing to do with Conor McGregor. He has a partnership with his brand, and the reason he was there that night, he has a partnership with his brand in the Miami Heat. So mm-hmm. um, if the Heat were the ones, you know, if the Heat have more skin in the game with Conor McGregor than the NBA, because if the 100%. NBA was paying for Conor McGregor, who has who does nothing to their bottom line, then all those domestic <laughs> charges that individuals got in the past that are on NBA teams, actual NBA teams, you would have thought they would have stuck their nose in and said, "All right, let's let's hey, can we keep this on the hush hush? We'll give you right. this amount of money." But no, they didn't. They let whatever played out in court or wherever it needed to play out, and then they took the punishment. Same thing with with. The people that we've been talking about in the last two, three weeks, two months or so, John Morant and Zion Williams, so on and so forth, they would they would take it upon themselves to get themselves the NBA that is get involved with these situations and try to pay off these individuals. But no, I, I if anything, I think it would be the Miami Heat. But mm-hmm. I don't even think it's the Miami Heat. I think it, it's like some gamesmanship from the her lawyer trying to get more attention brought to this. So it is carried out in court and you know they, they do get some say so in court yeah because both organizations you know they they categorically denied it you know they was like nah we ain't pay her we ain't try to pay her nothing to keep this quiet because you know if it happened it happened if it didn't it didn't you know what i'm saying so right. you, it's at this point is he say she say because nobody right. th- th- there's no video evidence that this happened of course you can't put videos in the in the bathroom because that's right. privacy, privacy against privacy laws so i mean it's going to have to play out in court. And like you said, it makes no sense for the NBA to get involved in it at all. It makes no sense at, at all for the NBA to get involved in it. Because like you said, if it, if that's the case, then all these cases in the past would have been taken care of by the NBA. So no, nah, right. and, and so that's not true. But I just, you know, Connor, you know, he, like I said, he comes off as a brash individual. Something This is something that I'm not surprised by. D'Lo said he's not surprised by. And, but he he has a beautiful family though, beautiful wife, beautiful beautiful kids on the verge of having a fourth now. So like, bro, like, why are you out here wilding out? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You're not you're not even the biggest star in, the, in MMA no more. To be perfectly honest with you, so it's about yeah. time for you to like take a back seat, bro, bro. Like for real, for real, just take care of your family and stop being out here wilding out. But I can't tell people how they live their life, bro. I can't do it. No, you can't. But when an individual. <clears throat> And this might not be his personality. I, I do want to say mm-hmm. that. This is just an opinion of mine, how he comes off to me. And apparently other individuals feel the mm-hmm. same. Because when I was Googling and, and doing some research about Conor McGregor himself, some of the first things that came up, why is Conor McGregor such a douche? Why is Conor McGregor such an arrogant individual? Why is Conor McGregor so entitled? He just comes off so entitled. And then, you know, in the, I mean, you, you, it's not you and I. That's not our personality. But we know some individuals that are very arrogant. And mm-hmm. when arrogance, entitlement, and urges come together, that's a bad thing. And so I feel like if he had, if he is arrogant, which it appears he is, and mm-hmm. he did have those urges, especially in a man, and I don't want to generalize, but I'm, I am a man, so I can kind of talk to this a little bit more mm-hmm. when when arrogance and urges come together you feel and, and you get denied by something that you feel you, you shouldn't you're be entitled denied. to yeah you, like you're entitled to you do things that you probably shouldn't do and mm-hmm. so again these are all allegations i, I want to state that but i can i i, I can, can i can it. see it i can <laughs> see it i can see it happening because yeah. yeah. that's that's who he comes off he comes off as this type of individual but i mean yeah. and like he said we he've had he's had these same allegations in the past so it doesn't it's, it's not you know shocking at all to be perfectly right. honest but i mean 
Burba got to get it together. Tell, man. man. Yeah, we'll see. Burba got to get I, it together. Hopefully, well, I won't say hopefully. If it goes to court, we'll we'll see what the story is and all the evidence that presents itself. For sure. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, there's a video on the screen right here. Make sure you go ahead and click on that. Also, you can find us on all your streaming platforms, wherever you find your podcasts.